In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new alignment commands that are in CAM350 and DFM Stream. If I load a set of Gerbers in NC and maybe a netlist, uh, it's no guarantee that they'll all have the same origin. So once I get in here and look at them, they may be misregistered. In the past, you would use the align layer command or the move command to register these, but we put under the tools ribbon an auto align layers button now. So if you just click that, that's going to zoom everything in and align them for you. Okay. That's one way of doing it. Um, if I have a, um, a set where it's just a netlist, say for instance, that's misregistered. Let's load another data set here. And I'm going to turn on my netlist here and zoom out a little bit. You'll see that it's down here at the origin. Well, now there's an option to align the netlist as well. If we go under the Analyze ribbon and Netlist Tools, you'll see the option to go ahead and align that external netlist, and it'll align it to the rest of the data. So those are some interactive ways of aligning the data. But we took it one step further in that you can now do this on import. So I'm just going to load the same set of data here in the auto import process. But I'm going to turn on align layers and align external nets so that when I do go ahead and load this data up, it will align everything and I don't have to do it after the fact. Now we're not going to take a look at another case where auto alignment can come in handy. And that is if I'm doing design compares. So I'm going to go to Analyze and Design Compare. Uh, I have my Rev B loaded. I'm going to browse out to my Rev A. And when I choose this, it's going to see that this button right here is checked, Align to Local Design Origin, and it's going to automatically align Rev B to Rev A. So I don't have to manually go out there and move the files. And then I can just simply go and run my, uh, my design compare. Okay. The other place that comes into handy is if I had a panelized design that I wanted to compare to a one-up. And the classic case for this is that uh, I sent my design off to my fabricator. He tooled it, but I have him send it back to me before we, um, we allow them to continue building it. So. We're going to go out and grab that tool data now, which is in panel form. And what it's going to do, again, it's going to use that align command to align that to our origin. So essentially, it's going to put the first board here on the lower left, align with this so that I can now run my analysis in just this specific area, and it will do the comparison for me. So again, I'm going to go ahead and hit run, but I'm going to use the in a selected area. And I'm just going to select this area here and click OK. And as I said before, it's going to go ahead and do that comparison, but do it just in a specific area. Okay. So these are the ways that I can use auto alignment in version 15 and later to speed up my process and, of course, be more accurate. 